Hi guys, Andy here again from Madlad Designs with another in the print and play series and this time we're going back to the 80s with Space Invaders particularly Space Strips Invaders edition Let's open this up and take a look, it has something in that I've never seen before quite unique, I'm sure there's games that do it uh, there's all sorts of bits and pieces I'm going to put to one side um, and that to one side and this to one side but this, this is what I wanted to show you. The game board actually comes in strips. And it has different invaders and different um, asteroids and things on. I'm going to explain shortly. But you're going to build your big, uh, your, you're going to build your board game up um, using strips. So you will get an A4 sheet when you download the print and play, which will have all these strips on. Uh, you will have this, it's a pocket mod version of the rules and that's what you get in your print and play uh, you will also need, let's have a look, there's one you will also need some tokens to mark off when you've killed and destroyed certain things you will need up to about six six sided dice to roll you will need pencil or a pen uh, and something to mark your scores and other things down. You can see I've played there. Of course, I'll explain this as we play. Oh, yes, you will also get this in the print and play. Your little spaceship. And and that's it. That's what you need, if I can fit everything in, to play uh, space strips. So let's move everything out the way and I'll set the game up. So I'll move the dice to one side, move our tokens to one side, ship to one side. There we go, move them. So, what do we have? You need to put the start strip to one side. And also, there should be a destination strip. You're going to put that to one side. And the strips are in different colours. You have green, and you can't see them at all, can you? <laughs> so you have green, which are these ones here. You have yellow, which are these ones and then you have red so what you do is you take the red face down and give them a shuffle the best you can trying to shuffle strips uh, and we're going to make a draw pile so I'm going to put that to one side then oh there's another red one let's bring that in the middle then you take all the yellows give them a shuffle like so and you place those on top of the red And you take the green ones and you give them a shuffle. Like so. And before you place those on top, you're going to take your start, which will be here. And you're going to put down, I'll move those out the way a bit. You're going to put down six of these green tiles. Like so. One, two, three, four, five six you're going to put whatever's left of the green on top and then you're going to take your destination and put that right at the bottom of the pile so we're going to have to make our way through this large pile all the way up in order to get to our destination and then let's see if i can get everything straight for you take our dice we've got our dice handy our tokens handy need a sheet of paper to mark our things down instructions are handy and then our ship which is just off I'll put it there for now when you start you are going to have a, a weaponry value so I'm gonna write W you're gonna have a firepower value and you're gonna have an armor value you're also gonna have a score the weaponry starts off at the three the firepower starts off at 1, your armour starts off at 3, and your score starts at 0. So there you go, that's how it starts. Weaponry 3, firepower 1, armour 3, score of 0. Right. I'll try and explain what these are. These are asteroids. If you are on an asteroid and you don't destroy it then it will remove one armor point 
you can fire up the columns uh, so if I destroy an asteroid it doesn't give me no points if I destroy a blue alien I'll get one point if I destroy a green alien I will get two points aliens can fire back at me and of course as we play you'll see exactly what I mean these constitute bonus points so I will just get two added to my score if I land on it these are upgrades if I land on one of these then I can add one not to my score but to any of the others to my weaponry to my firepower or to my armor and you'll get different colored aliens you'll get blue green and black and also depending on the color of the background will depend how many dice the aliens are going to use when they're attacking so <laughs> quickly went over the rules there but we'll see as we'll play so I get to choose where I want to start on this track and I am looking at this um, I want to upgrade oh, or shall I go for the points first and then move to get this let's go for I'm going to skip the points I'm going to go for the upgrade I'm going to start there okay so the turn goes like this you can shoot something uh, shoot an asteroid or shoot an alien these you don't shoot points you don't shoot these don't block line of sight neither asteroids will block line of sight um, if there's nothing to shoot at you must you must shoot at an invader you don't have to shoot at an asteroid but if there's an invader in here then you must fight it to the death if there's an asteroid you can just dodge it if you can uh, as there's nothing here I don't have to shoot anything so the next part is movement so you always move forward one and then you decide if you want to move left or right well I don't want to move left or right I want to stay on full course there then this comes away and then we take another strip put it at the top and we just continue on now there is an alien so we must try and shoot at this alien so in order to shoot at an alien we're going to look at our scores here and then we look at our fire strength our fire power and that's one and that's how many dice we're going to roll when we're attacking an alien an invader we look at the fire and that's how many dice we're going to roll so we're going to roll one and then we need to get whatever weaponry is or below so in this case i need to roll a three or below in order to destroy this alien this alien takes one hit so I'm going to get my little dice tray. Uh, so we're rolling one dice and we need to get a three or under in order to destroy this alien. And we got a six. So we've missed the alien. So now the alien is going to fight back and attack us. Because it's on a green background, he's going to roll one dice. And on a six, he's going to hit us and then we'll lose one from our armor. So let's claps close we get a five so he hasn't hit us so then we again we go with him and try and hit him and it just keeps going backwards and forwards like this I'm just gonna roll this like this I need a three or under and I get a three yes so now this is where our little token comes in to say that's been destroyed and we gain a point fantastic so now we can move and I am going to move just forward one goes off to one side we take a new strip like so now do I want to fire at this asteroid I don't have to but you have to when it's an alien you don't have to when it's an asteroid um, I'm just gonna leave it and I'm just gonna move forward one this comes away next strip comes out open oh, up the yellow upgrade so I can choose what I want to upgrade and I think I'll upgrade my firepower so now my firepower is two um, do I want to shoot at anything mm, no because I don't get any points for asteroids when you shoot asteroids I wouldn't mind coming over here though 
getting some things over here. So I'm going to move forward one and over to the side one. So you always move forward one and then you can if you wish move left or right. So another strip comes out. So now I have to attack this green alien and all the attacks are down here. So this is worth two points but it hits me on a five or six. So I am going to attack the alien. So again we're looking at the firepower. So now I've got two dice to roll need to get a three or under on either of those so let's see what we get and we do so it is destroyed and I've got two points so now it's movement um, I'm going to move across one and forward move this next strip comes out Let's move these down. Oh, let's move these down a bit. They are a bit fiddly, these strips. That's the only bad thing about it. So these don't block line of sight, so I can shoot at this alien, and I'm going to do that. So again, we're looking at the firepower. Two dice, and I need to get three or under on any of these. Oh no. <laughs> I've missed. So now the alien is going to attack us. It's still on green, so he's only getting it one die. And because it's a blue alien, he only hits us on a six. And of course he gets a six. How fantastic. <laughs> right, so it's our turn to hit him with the two dice for the firepower. We need three or under. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so now the alien's going to attack us. And if he gets a six, six so now we attack him there we go destroyed and I get a point so it's now movement move forward one remove this next strip like so so now we have gonna attack this green alien we are going to again use two dice and we need to get three or under. And we do. So we have destroyed him and we get two points for a green alien. Up to six points. So we are going to move forward one. Like so. Move this. Get the next strip out. Uh, and then we're going to upgrade. Uh, shall I get some armor back? Or shall I upgrade my firepower? Or if I upgrade my weaponry, then I only have to roll a four or under. Okay. Um, let's go with let's go with our firepower. So now we have an alien. Toughest alien, he needs two hits to be destroyed. So let's, we are going to be rolling three dice this time. Our firepower is three. We need a three or under. It doesn't matter how many three or unders we get, we can only hit him once. Luckily we get one, one hit on him. So just remember that he only has one hit left. Now he is going to attack us uh, and he's on yellow. So he rolls two dice. Any sixes he gets destroys our armor. Oof. No, so we attack him with our three dice. He's only got one hit left, and we need three or under, and we get it. So he has destroyed, and we get three points for him. So up to nine. Um, let's see, where can we go? Let's continue. Let's continue forward. So I'm going to take this, take this, move forward, remove this. Next strip out. Like so. Remember, we don't have to shoot the asteroids, but I'm going to, I'll attack the asteroid just to show you because it is slightly different. Um, 
when you attack a when you attack an alien, you are looking at your firepower, and that's how many dice you're going to be rolling. And then you look at your weaponry, and that's the number or less that you need to get when attacking an alien. When then attacking an asteroid, it's the opposite. You're looking at your weaponry for how many dice you're going to be rolling, and then you're looking at your firepower to see what number or less that you're going to get. So in this case, I'm going to get three dice for the weaponry. And thankfully, I've upgraded my firepower, so I need to get three or less in order to destroy this asteroid. So let's see if I can destroy the asteroid. I get a one, so the asteroid is destroyed. So that's how you destroy the asteroids. It's opposite on this chart from what you do when you're destroying an alien. So let's move forward one. Remove this. Bring another one out. And we're going to upgrade. And I think I'll upgrade my armor. To three. Um, no, I really should be getting some more points. Let's. I'm thinking about going for this green alien and then try and go up this column. Get some points for these. Oh, actually, the green alien's out now. So we have to move first. And. Because uh, we've attacked. And then move. So I'll move there and there. out and now we're going to attack this green alien so we're looking at our firepower we have three we need three or less in order to hit this green alien and we get it there we go so the green alien is destroyed and we get two points so up to 11 shall I go that way shall I go up this end column yeah, I'm going to move across and then move up one. That's. And then, oh, the red, we're getting closer. So now we have to fight this alien. So again, three dice because of the firepower. And we need three or less because of weaponry. And we do get it. So that blue alien is destroyed and we get a point. So we're up to 12. Then we have to move, and we'll just move forward one, so, like so, off to one side, next strip. Then this asteroid, let's try and destroy this asteroid. So remember, it's the opposite, so we're looking at weaponry for how many dice, and the firepower for what number or under that we need. So we need the three or under, and we just about get it there. That's destroyed. So then we move. We move up to this area here. Next a strip comes out. Then we need to shoot this alien because these don't block line of sight. So put our little note in there. So we need a three or less to hit this alien and we don't get it so now the alien is going to hit us he's on a yellow background so it's going to be two dice uh, and he's going to hit us for a six with the blue and the green aliens um, doesn't matter how many well for, uh, uh, for the blue aliens it doesn't matter how many dice you roll uh, or how many sixes you get, it can only be hit once from the blue alien. So if I roll these and got two sixes, I'd only be hit once. With the green alien, um, if I rolled these and got a five or a six, I'd still only be hit once. But with the black alien, um, if I roll these, no matter how many sixes I get, I'll be hit for each six. So if I was attacking a black alien on this red background, he would be rolling three dice. And if he got three sixes, I would be hit three times. The others can only hit you once, no matter what the roll. Black one can hit you as many sixes as he rolls. But we're attacking the blue one. Or should I say the blue one's attacking us? Uh, let's see if we can get 
Any sixes? No. Phew. <laughs> so it's our turn to attack him. So we're looking at three or below. Just about get it there. So he is destroyed and we get another point. That's 13. So we need to move and we're going to move forward one. Goes away. Next strip comes out. Um, so again we need to attack this blue alien so we need again three or less and we get it so destroyed for another point should be 14 and again then it's our turn to move we're going to move forward one that goes in there that comes out there then we are going to Upgrade. So let's upgrade. Let's upgrade our weaponry to four. So now we're going to attack this green alien. So again, we're looking at three dice, but now we need a four or under. Yes, we get it. So green alien is destroyed. We get two points. We are going to move. So we take that off. That there, that there, that there. Move these down. And we have an alien, so we need to attack that alien. So we need to get a four or less. And we do. So that alien is destroyed. And we get a point up to 17 points we are going to move forward one so move that move forward one move that next strip comes out oh we have a black alien <laughs> it's okay so we need to hit him twice i'm going to roll the three dice and we need a four or less to at least hit him here we go, here we go. Yes, yeah, so we've hit him once. So he is now going to attack us. He's on a red background, so he's going to be rolling three dice. And for every six he rolls, we're going to lose the armor point. So we're going to lose one armor point. Down to two armor. So we attack him again. Let's see if we can finish him off. Yes, we can finish him off. And we get three points. 20 and I'm going to move forward one it goes away next strip comes out here we go and I'll put the destination there so we're almost there and I'm going to move forward one that gets removed there's no more to put out so there's no aliens in the column so I'm just going to move forward one, that gets removed, I get five points, five bonus points, so I'm up to 25. I'm thinking can I move and get some more points maybe in this column here. But I'm going to have to move and then I'll land up on the asteroid and I must destroy the asteroid, if not the asteroid, because I'm on the asteroid, going to take an armor point off and then if I go up this column I'm going to have to be fighting this alien and I'll be down to one armor point and if this alien hits me it'll be game over so do I chance it <laughs> do I take the easy route or do I try and gain more points um, I'm going to chance it so I'm going to go across one and up actually I'm going to go back down and across no I am I'm gonna go cross and up get rid of this so I need now to roll weaponry I need to roll a four and I need a three or under on any of those dice to destroy this asteroid so three or under yes 
So the asteroid is destroyed and we don't take a hit. So now we need to move again. Um, I'm going to miss this four. Because you always have to move forward one. So I'm going to move across and then forward one. This comes away. At least I can get two points, another two. So I've got 27. But now we are firing at this alien. So we're going to be rolling three dice and trying to get a four or under. Um, we do. So that's destroyed. We get 29. Uh, we move forward one, that goes away. We move forward one, that goes away move forward one, that goes away, we're at our destination. Whew. <laughs> a bit of a battle going on, but we finally got to the end, and when you get to the end, when you get to this, you get an extra 30 points. So, I have now 59 points. So you see my last game, I got 58, this game, I got 59. <laughs> wow. Okay guys, that is Strip invaders, all oh, the strips there. I have to sort all them out. Of course, I'll leave a link to the print and play files and the board game geek um, page. I hope you enjoyed the game. Dead simple, dead quick. Uh, and until the next video, I will catch you guys later.